Firstly, Craig, the players must be relishing the task of SC United coming in on Saturday. Yeah, it's going to be a big game, obviously. Uh, you can see it's obviously the same points and that, but it's, this is how we, uh, what, what people want to do, you know what I mean? And, and you want to play in front of big crowds. Uh, what are you expected from the midfield battle on Saturday? Uh, every, it's like every, every, every other game, more or less, you know what I mean? Everyone has to be at, 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 at the time. So obviously, we know we can, we can run the midfields, uh, the strikers, and defence. Uh, was Monday your best performance in the Sutton United shirt? Um, well, I'm, always, I'm always trying to give it the best every time. I'm always trying to improve. So I'm not too sure which one that one is. Uh, must be an absolute massive blow. Bed Senti Gomez missing recently. As you and um, Nicky Bailey and uh, Betty uh, formed a really nice clique in midfield. Yeah, it is, it is a very disappointing when obviously when, when your partnership goes with an injury or not, not selected. Uh, well, you just got to adapt to it because everyone that comes comes in that can take over. And uh, you scored against Maidstone in the massive game. Can you do it on the big stage again? Yeah, anything's possible. If the chance is there, and obviously anyone can take a chance. So it's, it's just got to fall to the right person and hopefully it goes in. Uh, how big does this uh, game ra rank in importance in your career? Um, it's, it's, it's one of the big ones as well because uh, you know uh, every every game is very important because obviously there's people watching and you always have to uh, put, your, put your shift in. And... Uh... I'd, um, we've shown a lot of character coming back from home, so we fall behind. Um, you know, the crowd won't be nervous and the players won't be phased by it. No, the players are never nervous, uh, so hopefully the fans are not nervous because this is what people want to do play in front of big crowds. And uh, how much have you enjoyed your time here, and how long would you uh, love to stay here? It's, it's, it's one of the ones where obviously uh, you can come out of football, and obviously there's a, a little stepping stone for you to obviously to, to get back on your mark where you want to be because everyone has their own in, individual targets. And uh, lastly, it shows what a good squad we are, as um, obviously we lost a quality player in uh, Ryan Burge uh, last one, obviously um, playing midfield, and it just shows how quality the squad is, and it shows how why we're top of the league. Yeah, no, everyone, everyone that comes in and that comes out, they're, they're definitely um, worth, worth the playing in the team, because obviously everyone's good at it, everyone, everyone can take each other's roles, if someone's injured or someone's suspended, there's always someone there that can take over, so you always have to be doing your job. And lastly, what do you your best goal uh, of the season so far has been? Probably in the Maystone away. All right, Craig, thank you for talking to SJS TV and uh, good luck for Saturday and the remaining two games after that as well. Cheers, thank you. See ya. See ya. First is Dan, how's training been coming into FC United game on Saturday? Yeah, training was good today. All the lads seem, um, well, everyone's fit. Um, had a good session out there today. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going really well. Everyone seems looking forward to it. Um, we're all prepared properly, uh, ready for Saturday. How much you relish in the battle with their two centre backs? Yeah, it would be good. Um, I'm sure they're pretty good. I've played against both of them, both of them before. Um, I know what they're about, um, but I'm sure we can. Um, we've got enough in our locker in our team to sort of um, over, overhaul them, really. How determined you to score on Saturday afternoon? Yeah, I am determined. I'm determined to score every game, to be honest. Um, should have probably scored a couple in the last couple of games, but it hasn't been. Um, so hopefully Saturday I can get a, get a goal or two just to help us win. A must be massive blow with uh, the service of Dan Wishart when it, um, missing as he's had a more forward role in recent games. Yeah, which is a big miss. Um, obviously, he gets down the wings and puts some great balls in. Um, but we've got Sterney, Tom, they're both great wingers, so uh, the balls will be coming in, uh, I'm sure of that. Uh, actually, yeah, I was um, just going to bet you about uh, Ross Stern, Tom Buller, and they've, they've probably been two of the best players, the contenders for two of the best players this season. Yeah, they, like I said, they've been amazing, really, for us. They've been. Um, both direct, quick, uh, skillful, and um, the amount of goals they've set up and, and scored uh, has definitely helped us get into the position we're in. How much of a boost it to have uh, Cray done this up front, do with his uh, power and um, can win a lot of balls in the air as well? Yeah, it's good. Him, Maka, Slabber, they're all sort of big and strong. They can get the body in there and uh, helps me sort of make my runs in behind. Um, but yeah, Duns is an, another strong player and he, he's good at what he does, yeah. How much do you look forward to playing in front of a big crowd at Gandhi Lane on Saturday? Yeah, it'd be good. I think they're saying about 3,000 is going to be here. I'm sure, I think Epstein will bring quite a few down. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be uh, rocking. Uh, hopefully, our fans can uh, cheer us on and give us that boost that we need to win the game. And we really showed the crowd in phases at Maidstone as well this month. Yeah, like I said, the fans have been spot on. Um, they've really helped us, um, especially as we've been doing so well. Um, they've been really vocal and loud, and yeah, it definitely helps the team. Uh, where do you feel you rank in the strikers in the whole of National League, and that clues? Uh, the National League and the National League North as well? Um, well, I, I worry about myself. Um, I set myself a target of getting 20 plus goals. So I've got 20, so um, I want to do more. And I'm looking back and I think I could have scored more, but 
Um, I take each game as it comes, and um, at the end of the day, goals win games, and um, I just I love scoring goals, really. Um, <laughs> must be massive boost uh, for the strikers that Craig, uh, Craig McAllister has gone back into the team. Yeah, we, Mac is a big player for us. Um, it's been a shame he's been out, but uh, he's getting back fit now, so if we can get him sort of maybe some minutes, then um, yeah, he's, he's going to be a, a big boost. Do you feel this has been the best season in your career? Uh, it's been up there, yeah, definitely. Um, I've only played sort of four or five seasons, so uh, in men's football, so yeah, I'd definitely say it's up there. Um, definitely, probably the best team I've played in as well. Um, so yeah, I'd say it's, it's it's definitely been a very good season. In this uh, mentally testing uh, National League South Tart race, how do you feel uh, Maidstone have played their part? Because obviously all the focus is going to be on uh, Sutton FC at the weekend, but they've been massive in this uh, title race as well. Yeah, Maidstone, they've, they've been up there for a lot of the season as well. It's been sort of the three of us, but they've sort of lost, I think, their last two now. So they're, uh, I think they're sort of going to be playoffs. Um, so it just makes Saturday's game even more, much bigger for us. Uh, first three, second. So all we, all we can do is worry about ourselves, really. Uh, how how massive is it for all the teams to have a, a defence led by Jamie Collins, which has had seven out of ten clean sheets in their last uh, yeah the last uh, ten games? Yeah, our back four, um, Ross and Gold, uh, they've all done spot on the amount of clean sheets they had. I think they've had twenty two clean sheets. I think it is, which is unbelievable. Uh, it just goes to show the uh, work together, put the, in training uh, and on the pitch, and that that just goes to show. Um, and obviously. Um, the high standards you set yourself, you didn't have quite the best end to last season. Did you envisage yourself doing this well this season? Yeah, I've got confidence in myself, definitely. I know I can score goals, uh, definitely at this level and, 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 and even higher. So, um, Especially with the players around me, I, you're going to get chances because uh, we've got some, some great players uh, putting the balls in the box. Our goal of the season competition is uh, starting on uh, Saturday. What do you feel the goal of the season has been as a, as a whole? Goal of the season? Oh, there's been a few good ones to be fair. Um, Oh, just trying to think back. I think Wishy scored a few good ones. Tom Bollerinmar scored a couple of good ones. So I'm sure there would be quite a, a close contest. Is this the biggest game of your career on Saturday? Um, it's, it's it's just another big game, really. I wouldn't say it's in my career. No, it's just another game to do and win um, and, and do things properly. I think we've got players in the changing room who are used to big games. Uh, they won't be phased by the crowd. Uh, and we're just going to it with confidence. And last season, um, when Paul Dosser signed you, were sitting... Five points off uh, relegation. We kind of ran on a, a run because your goals. How proud do you feel that like you kind of kind of uh, got some of the great runs, kind of uh, got them up the table and got them away from relegation last season to have a, a great season like this? How 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 great does that feel? To be honest. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, definitely. Um, the Gaffers obviously brought me in, um, got me on loan last season as I wasn't playing uh, at all shop, but uh, I came in and did well, and uh, I feel. This season we've kicked on again at, to the next level. Uh, lastly, the game, uh, the game at Mesa this month, um, Paul Dosso tactically uh, put you on the, the bench that game. That just shows the player your calibre and the squad that how much strength and depth we have in the squad. And that's probably the reason why we are top of the league and we have so much fight and determination. Yeah, like, it was diff disappointing for me. Uh, I wanted to be playing, obviously, but you have to look at the bigger picture sometimes. And he went tactically different uh, with the one up front with Duns. And uh, to be fair, it worked. Uh, and we got the three points. So I'd... To be honest, I'd rather if I didn't play and we win three and get three points than play and lose, to be honest. Uh, Dan, thank you very much for talking to Escher FC TV and good luck for a massive game on Saturday against Eversley and the last two remaining games after that as well. Lovely, thank you mate.